Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a panning punk update. I'm very excited because now I get to switch foundations and if you watched my last video, you know that I already have a foundation in mind. Now I will be putting all of the information for panning punk down below, but if this is your first time, I will give you a brief overview. Panning punk is a project pan. I'm going from January 1st to December 31st. The creator is Allie Nettles, and this is a Pantastic Ladies collab project, if you're familiar with them. Basically, you pick four to six prompts to start. This is a rolling project, so after completing one prompt, you pick another one. And all the prompts are based off of punk songs. So the prompts all have, like, they're kind of loosely based around, like, the title of a song or what the song is about. So, um, last update... We did pretty good. We had a couple of empties. And this update, we have a couple of more empties. We have a couple of things that we're rotating and switching out. I'm really excited. So let's jump in, I guess. Prompt number one is the Green Day song Holiday. I don't know why I'm like having to think about this. It is a holiday themed product. So I had chosen the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Goody Two Shoe for this one. Um, I'm still, I haven't quite used it yet, okay. I've been using a lot of other highlights, and this has kind of fallen by the wayside. This is like my, I'm not super paying attention to it. Um, I do like this. It is still working. My goal for this is to finish it off completely. I have a decent, I don't know if you guys can see it, um, but I have a decent, oh, there's brush hairs, gross. I have a decent pan in the middle. I am expecting to finish it off during this project at some point eventually. Uh, I'm using a highlight palette right now, and I'm kind of switching back and forth between that and this. I do like this. I really do. I'm going to finish it off. I just need to focus on it. But this is not finished yet. I have made some like additional progress than I had last time because now when you push the product around, the pan doesn't get covered up, which means there's less product, which is awesome. Um, but this will be going into the next round because I have not completely finished it off eventually. It's just like it's a gold highlight. So I feel like it's difficult if you're not doing like a specific look, right? I don't always think that gold highlights go well, especially on my skin tone. So I have to try to like, you know, I don't know. I'm doing five, by the way. Did I mention that? I do five. I'm doing five at a time in this project. So the second item, the prompt is the Ramones Rock and Roll High School. It's a product that was a teenage staple for you. So I had picked the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil um, in Perversion. The one that was a teenage staple for me was Zero, but I don't have any more Zeros, and I don't think that they make that shade anymore. I think they replaced it with Perversion. So I um, switched to that. Here's the issue. This is what's left of my Perversion. Um, and it has gotten to the point, like this is, I'll show you the cap. It's about the size of the cap. Um, and it's gotten to the point, I literally tried to use this today, and like I can't. It's so... Like, the wood has started to, like, splinter. So, I'm calling this one done, because, like, this is, I feel like that's pretty good progress. That's pretty, pretty close to an empty. There's not much more product in here. There's not much more product that I can use out of it. So, I'm calling this one an empty for sure. Um, but I loved this. And this started to go really fast. Once you had around that, and this is, mm, this is why I don't like sharpenable eyeliner pencils. You'd never know it because I have so many and I keep buying them. But I feel like once you hit around the halfway mark, you have to sharpen it before every use because it gets so like moldable almost. Like it gets very soft. The product does. And so once you hit around the halfway point, you will fly through. I mean, that, that's how my experience. Like, I don't know if that's your experience, but that's my experience with things like this. So once I hit the halfway point, it was pretty easy, and I was pretty close to the halfway point when I started this. So I did finish this one off, which I'm excited about. Ooh, and that means that I get to check off the prompt. The Ramones. See ya. That's exciting. Um, but my goal was to finish this off. I'm counting that as my goal. So I will be bringing in one new product thus far. There are more coming. I keep wanting to like number the prompts, but the prompts aren't numbered and that's confusing as shit. So the next prompt was the Sex Pistols God Save the Queen, a product with royal titles. I had been using the Tarte Chisel palette and I ended up deciding I didn't like that one and I passed it along to someone else, but I didn't technically finish the prompt. So I ended up bringing in something else and I had brought in the UOMA Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation in Fair Lady. The Fair Lady is the, the royal title here. 
Um, and my goal for this, because I didn't, I couldn't remember how much I had left in it, but my goal for this was to just use this exclusively pending videos uh, for the entire span of one panning punk filming to another panning punk filming. And I did that. I, there were two days that I did not use this because I was using other foundations while I was filming videos. Um, but other than that, I use this. I have no idea how much is left in here. You can see. Okay, it's filthy. But I have no idea how much is left in here. I can't imagine there's very much, but who knows? Who knows? The point is, is I am calling this prompt completed as well because my goal is to use this from the start to the finish. Very happy to announce I have now done that and I will now be focusing... <laughs> My attention on trying out some other new foundations that I've got, gotten recently as well as continuing to test out the KVG Vegan Beauty Good Apple Foundation Balm because I've used that once and I'm pretty sure I'm in love with it but I need to test it out a little bit more. So I'm really excited about this. This will be going back into my collection for now so you will see this again and you probably just saw this in my favorites because this is an amazing foundation and I highly recommend it. Um, yes. What, did I have anything else to say about you? Um, no, I think that's it. So this so good. Um, but I have completed the prompt. I'm going to check that one off my list. And that will be two new products that we will be bringing into the collection thus far. Now let's talk about the next one. So the next prompt is Blink-182. What is this? Is this number four? This is the product number four. Uh, Blink-182, what is my age again? What's my age again? Why would I say it like that? An older product in your collection. So I had brought in the Milani Stay Put Brow Color in Dark Brown. I have had this for so long. Um, when I brought this in, there was usage in it, but it was still mm, like two thirds of the way full, maybe a little bit more. I used this. I use this almost exclusively since the start of this project. Um, now I've switched back to pencils. I have used, I'm gonna give y'all a close up. Do you see, do you see, do you see how much use there is in there? Here's the thing, at this point, I literally use this until it was dry and flaking, and at this point, it's dried up. There's so little product in there that it's not able to hold its moisture anymore, and it's just kind of nasty. So, um, I'm calling this an empty because I used this for months, okay, for a couple of months, it's like, by itself, like, this is what I used, and I'm not a big pomade person, and that was rough for me. So I'm calling this an empty, though, because I feel like I got really well acquainted with this. It's a good brow pomade. But like it goes, like when it starts to get dry, it's not the greatest. So I'm calling this an empty. I have decreed, I have made that decision. Because um, I'm not redoing this prompt, but it dried out. So. Uh, product number five, the last product, is the Misfits Halloween. It's a horror slash scary movie inspired product or a Halloween inspired product. Now the issue is, is I don't have very many like holiday themed things in my collection. So I had pulled in this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Glitter in Carnival. It's like a really pretty orange, right? So it reminded me of Halloween. Um, and we're kind of, it's loosely based, okay? But this reminded me of Halloween, so I pulled this out. And my goal for this was to use this um, 10 times. So far, I have used it three. I am having a little bit of trouble just because this is such a bright orange. And like the shadows that I'm using aren't really good for that. Um, but... I am keeping track. I've used it three times thus far. All three of the looks can be found on TikTok and Instagram, but I am going to be taking this into the next round. I have seven more uses to go. The palettes that I'm using for this current Shot My Stash round probably aren't going to work, but maybe. You never know. Uh, but this is a good glitter, honestly, and it's weird because I feel like I'm using so much every time I use it, and it hasn't gone down at all. Not at all. So this will be going into the next round. Um, but that means that we've got three products, two that are empties, and then one that is going back into the collection that the prompts are finished on. So we need to bring in three more products for three new prompts. Okay, so I am just going down the list in the prompt section. So the next prompt is Nirvana Heart Shaped Box, a product that relates to your zodiac sign. Um, I had said, I think last time that I was concerned because I was like, I don't have any products that, I don't have any Scorpio products at all. And someone in the comments was like, I'm pretty sure you had a Scorpio lipstick. Here's the thing. I was like, oh my god, I did. I totally had a Scorpio lipstick. And I went through my collection. The Scorpio lipstick that I was thinking of when that comment was made was from Bite Beauty. And it was like a bright orange lipstick and I ended up decluttering it. But I was like, there has to be. I have to have. In my, my five drawers of lip products, I have to have a lip product that has the name Scorpio in it. I have to, right? And I went through... <laughs> I went through almost every lip product I own, just like looking at the names, and I found one 
I'm so excited. This is from Kaleidos. Uh, this is the Cloud Lab Lip Clay from the Trophy Collection, and it is called Scorpion Fruit. So it's not <sighs> Scorpio, but it's Scorpion, and it still counts. Now, here's my concern, though, because I'm using a lot of lippies in the shot my samples right now, and this shade... So I'm probably not going to use this up, so I'm probably going to put like a usage goal on this. Now the question is, what's the goal? What, what's the goal? What's the usage goal? How many times do I think I could reasonably, I mean I did 10 for the glitter, should I just do 10? Yeah, yeah, 10 times. I want to use this 10 times. This is a shade, I love it, like I think this is such a beautiful shade, but it is also a very specific shade. So there are specific looks that I would wear this with. So maybe I'll try it out with some different looks that I wouldn't normally wear it with. Um, I don't know. But I think 10 times is a fair amount. Um, it'll give me more thoughts about it. And I feel like that's a good... We'll go with 10. Is that a good... I normally don't do usage goals. I normally do, like, completion goals. Is 10, like, a good... Now I'm questioning. Okay, so I just posted an Instagram story um, asking what, like, kind of explain the situation. So we'll get some opinions, and I am going to say 10 for now, but we will check back in with what people on Instagram are saying before this video comes to a conclusion. So let's... I'm gonna go with 10, and that might change, but we'll figure it out. All right. What's the next one? Um, the next one is Weezer Island in the Sun, a product loved by multiple generations. This was difficult because I know some brands have been around for decades. I don't know what products have been around for decades, unless you're talking about like skincare products, right? And so I was trying to think about it, and I was like, I mean, I could focus on skincare. I don't really want to focus on skincare. Um, I could, you know, start Googling specific makeup products, but I feel like because like the cruelty free shift has been more of a recent thing, um, generationally speaking, it's probably not going to be anything that I have. The one thing that comes to mind is like the Cody Airspun powder, and I don't I don't use that because that smells so bad. I can't I can't use that. But I got okay. So I'm going a little bit, a little bit. Um, but I chose the Scandinavia makeup finishing spray in Bridal. I know that this has been a popular product for a very long time amongst like makeup artists. This is, I'm, it's a little, <laughs> it's a stretch, but that's okay, it's okay. This is what I ended up picking. I've loved it for so long, it's felt like generations. Thank you. Okay. I just don't know of any like, like old classics that I have. Generational. And that's such a... Okay, this is what I'm going with. Here's the thing. I have used this for a long time. It's almost empty. So this is great. It's the perfect... It's perfect. It's perfect. This is what we're going with. My goal is to finish it up because there's not much left in here. And this I've had... I've had this for fucking generations, okay? The last one is Taking Back Sunday, Make Damn Sure. Such a good song. A product you are ready to be done with or almost done with. So I've mentioned previously that um, in my pressed powder drawer, I have a lot of powders that don't fit anymore because I can't use the last three rows. So I picked out an old pressed powder that is pretty well loved that just needs to go. It's all that needs to go. I've always loved these CoverGirl powders, but I'm using like the one for normal skin right now. And they are such, like, they have that Cody Airspun, like, perfumed scent to them. I don't like it. Have they always had that scent? Have I just completely missed it? This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte Pressed Powder Oil Control in Classic Ivory. My goal is to finish this up. So this will just take the place of the one for normal skin that I'm currently using. Uh, my goal is to finish this off, though. I feel like that should be... Sorry for blinding you. That's, like, a reasonable goal, right? Because it's like, there's already so much gone. Okay, that's my goal. Um, I like these powders though. I do like these powders. I just don't like the scent of them. Totally forgot they had a scent. But that is my goal for that. So that's all five products and like all five goals and everything and the updates. The only responses that I'm seeing thus far are saying like 10 is a fine number. So I'm gonna go with 10 for the Kaleidos. We're going with 10. 
Ten times. That should be fine. That should be fine. Maybe it'll change. If it changes, I'll update you guys next time. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me here today. If you are participating in Panning Punk, let me know in the comments below how it is going. And if you are not, what is your favorite punk song? Also, listen to the Rex, because they are a great band who are not at all known, right? And it's not my usual, like, heavy stuff. It's very, like, low-key and mellow stuff. So good, though. They just released a new song, and it's, like, the heaviest song that they've ever done, but it's still very, like, popish. It's so... I love that band. I have literally, it's so rare to me to find a band that I love like every single song they've done and I have not been able to find a single song from the Rex that I have not absolutely loved. Okay, so yes, if you're looking for a music recommendation, that is my recommendation of the day. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it to make sure you hit that bigger subscribe button below me if you'd like to see more of me. Thank you. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great one.